Hello, my name is Rodrigo Martinez. I'm the Chief Medical Officer at PerfectServe. One of the most important things in modern medicine is good clinical communication. I think of clinical communications as the two-way transmission of information relevant to the care of a patient. This can occur between a member of the care team and the patient or their family, or across members of the care team. And these days it can be done in many different ways. We have secure texting, emailing, paging, direct messages via the electronic health record, or through a portal. I can have regular phone calls, video calls, and set up a telehealth appointment. So why are there so many different ways to share data and messages? And could it potentially be dangerous to have this many forms of communication? Well, let's think about some of the advantages and disadvantages. On the one hand, in the clinical world, you can set up an environment that gives the entire care team and the patients they take care of the ability to communicate securely with each other. But on the other, every new channel comes with an expectation that someone will see and act on that message, the data coming through, charts, and phone calls. If we assume that good communication is a two-way street, then poor communication frustrates two different parties in two different ways. For the patient sending a message, the assumption is that someone is receiving, reviewing, and taking some meaningful action, hopefully in a timely manner. For the clinician, incompletely planned deployment of technology and poor governance can create extremely uncomfortable situations. The result can be too many inboxes to manage and random alerts, which can cause interruptions and the added mental strain of constantly hunting and trying to remember where you saw that message. With so many avenues of communication to choose from, how do you know which one to travel down? And how do you know someone will be waiting on the other side? To those implementing software in the clinical setting, I would recommend you review all of the different inbound communication avenues you may be opening up with the addition of each new product. Is there other functionality that also does this? And if so, does one do it better than the other? Is this channel designed for the communication of emergencies or time-sensitive communications? Who's the best person to receive, review, and take action on the communication that will be coming through? Is there a way to turn the channel off or to set preferences or escalation protocols if the recipient is unavailable? Does the technology close the loop with the sender through some form of acknowledgement? Does the technology make it easy for the clinical end user to take the next action step? Has our organization established clear expectations on which communication modalities to use when? By focusing on enhancing clinical workflows and not introducing unnecessary toil to a clinician's workday, clinical communication and collaboration tools can truly accelerate speed to care and be a huge satisfier for both patients and clinicians.